Hi, I'm Venton. And I'm Lacey. And on today's episode of What to Wear, we are going to give Felix a total safety makeover. Felix lives in Nebraska and he is a pesticide applicator. That means he kills all those bugs and weeds and pests that we all hate. Ew! Thank you, Felix. Now, Felix's friends and family were concerned that he was not adequately protecting himself on the job. So they decided to nominate him for a what to wear intervention. See, Felix spends his days using many different chemicals and other control methods to kill pests. But get this, he does it wearing a short sleeve shirt. Oh. He has no safety style. And not only that, he doesn't even wear gloves. The humanity. So we're going to travel to Nebraska to surprise Felix and show him what, what to, to wear. wear. We're here with Felix's family, friends, and co-workers, and Felix should be arriving soon. Come on, let's first talk with Alan, Felix's co-worker. Hi, Alan. Why did you nominate Felix for our show? Well, Felix is a good guy, but he just doesn't take proper precautions. He thinks he can use pesticides and they won't harm him, even if he's just using them for a little while. I've been in this industry a long time, and it's important to keep safe during the application process. Great. Well, that is why we're here. All right. Let's go join the rest. Great. So, Mandy, what do you think about your husband's work wardrobe? Well, honestly, I worry about him. T-shirts don't seem to have enough protection against pesticides. It might get on his skin or it might splash in his eyes. Well said. Also, I worry about him tracking pesticides in on his shoes or from his clothes. We have little kids, one just about to crawl, and a dog. And I hope they don't get exposed to the chemicals Felix uses at work. Well, it certainly sounds like Felix needs some fashion advice. And it looks like he's coming now. Hi, Felix! I'm Lacey and this is Vinton and we're from What, what to, to Wear! wear. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> now, your friends and family have been very concerned about you and we are here to give you a safety wardrobe makeover. So what do you say, Felix? Well, they never leave me alone about it. So, <laughs> you know, why not? Let's do it. Woo! All right, let's go All get right. you ready. you tell us a little bit about your fashion sense when it comes to your job? Why do you dress the way you do? Well, because I want to be comfortable. <laughs> and I wear jeans to protect my legs. And I'm always really careful with the chemicals, so I don't know why people are so worried about me. And plus, I work in the summer, so sometimes it's just too hot to wear anything but t-shirts. Well, Felix, bravo on wearing the long pants. And as far as t-shirts, you don't have to give up wearing them in the hot weather. But when you're making a pesticide application, you need to remember to bring a long sleeve shirt with you to put over top of your t-shirt to protect you. And remember, a long sleeve shirt that's been rolled up does not count as long sleeve. See, we checked with the Nebraska Department of Agriculture who regulates the pesticide applicators in your state. And they said that every pesticide has a label on it that explains how to use it properly as well as what to wear for protection. Yes, and I, I follow those procedures. It's just all that PPE stuff is for people who aren't very careful with the chemicals. <laughs> Actually, the NDA explained to us that the label is the law. I mean, I know you're careful, but accidents sometimes do happen. We want to make sure that you're safe. I do want to obey the law. We know you do. And that's why we're here. Let's get started. So after talking to your coworkers, we found out some of the pesticides that you work with. And based on their label requirements, we've put together some examples of some personal protective equipment, or PPE, for you to look at. This label is pretty simple. It calls for long sleeves, long pants, shoes with socks, and chemical resistant gloves. Cassandra here has chosen some disposable knife trial gloves to wear so she can throw them out once she's done with the job. We would also like to point out that an alternative to wearing a long sleeved shirt and long pants is to wear a one piece Tyvek suit or coveralls that cover your entire body. 
You can wear either of these over your normal clothing while you are applying pesticides. Martin is modeling all the basic PPE that Cassandra has, but the label for the pesticide he'll be using has the potential for danger if it's inhaled. So he's also wearing a half-face cartridge respirator to protect his lungs. One thing to note is that respirators must have a good seal around the mouth and nose to prevent any pesticides from getting inside. Carefully follow the use and cleaning instructions included with the respirator. You'll notice too that Martin has green reusable nitrile gloves. These are extra long and can be rolled over the top of his sleeves to keep pesticides from getting on his arms. Finally, we know that you sometimes mix and load pesticides before applying them. Colleen is wearing goggles, a full apron, and Viton gloves to help protect her in case of splashing. Okay, so we're going to spring you loose, Felix. We're going to give you $2,000. $2,000 to buy the appropriate clothing and equipment that you need to satisfy those labels for that pesticide that you work with. So you can stay safe. Good luck. Well, Felix, how did it go? I was amazed with all the PPE choices. I had no clue how many options there were out there. Okay, let's see. Good job with the shirt and pants. That'll definitely help limit your exposure. Mm -hmm. And you're spot on with the jeans. They work great. The only kind of pants you want to avoid are the ones with the loosely woven fabrics. Uh, what's this, though? They, they were cheap. Uh, not protective. Polyethylene is so not protective. And neither are the household gloves or latex. Might as well not have any gloves at all. You know, these type of gloves are okay for food service or household cleaning, but when you're working with pesticides, you have to make sure you have a chemical resistant glove, like nitrile, neoprene, butyl rubber, viton, or barrier laminate. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at those feet. All right, tennis shoes are just fine. Most labels call for socks plus shoes, so that's great. However, sometimes you will need to have a chemical resistant boot. You always want to avoid leather because pesticides can penetrate the material. And what else did you get? Well, Benton, I got a respirator and a full face shield Very because nice. uh, sometimes I work with chemicals that produce more fumes than the other ones. And also, as you guys said, I mix pesticides, so I thought a full face shield might be better than just the goggles. Good thinking, Felix. Some labels will give you the option of either using the full face shield or goggles, whereas others will require that full face shield. So it looks like you're ready to go. And as we said, the respirator is going to help protect your lungs from pesticide inhalation. The half face respirator is a commonly used one, but others may be required depending on what type of work you're doing. Well, good job, Felix. I think all we need to do is get you some nitrile gloves and we can show you to your friends and family. So let's go. Let's go. Everyone, I'd like you to meet the new... The Safer... Felix! So much better. Now I feel confident that when Felix comes home at night, that he's protected himself at work and protected us from exposure as well. It would be great having Felix back at work again, following the PPE requirements to keep him safe. I've learned a lot from Lacey and Vinton. Now I don't ever go without PPE before I do a pesticide application. When I'm finished with the job, I remove and store my PPE properly, wash my hands, and take off my shoes before going into the house. This helps protect not only me, but my family as well. Well, another successful show, Vinton. That's right, Lacey. Just one more tip. Always remember to wash the pesticide contaminated clothing separately from the family wash. It's just one more way to protect yourself and your family. Until next time, thanks for joining us on What, what to, to Wear! wear.